Hey there, friends. I have some fun news for you. This year, I am offering an opportunity for you to jump into my Plan Your Best Year Ever workshop. Normally, that is just available to our Retailers Inner Circle members, but this year, I've had so many people ask me if they could have advice or help or guidance as to what they should be planning for for 2024. So we have created a Plan Your Best Year Ever workshop available now for you. And what we are hoping what this does for you, and by we, I say my team and I, we have corralled our workshop into two parts. So this is a two-part workshop available to you. One, the first part on demand. So if you're daydreaming about what your 2024 could look like, if you're trying to corral all the ideas, if you're starting to noodle, you know, think about what's going to happen next year. Maybe you have hesitations about next year. Maybe you're excited about it. There's so many things happening and you're wondering, how can I put all this on paper? (laughs) How can I corral all those wonderful ideas I have? And you know, what do I need to do? What numbers do I need to look at? What are the plans I need to make? The days of planning your future year, your your next year in retail, just by looking at last year's numbers. Oh man, those are gone. My friend, don't do that. <laughs> that is not how we plan out our year. We plan out our year by how we want the business to serve us. And what is your business doing to serve you, right? Your paycheck, you know, what numbers do we need to make? How are we going to put a marketing plan in place? What, you know, what's the revenue we need and how do we know those numbers and just that type of thing? And what changes do we need to make? What do we want? Do we want more time? Do we want more things? Do we want to expand? All of those things that are running around in your head, let's put them down on one piece of paper. So this workshop, again, it's in two parts. The first part is a workshop that you do on demand. So you can do it at your leisure this this month you have a whole you know a whole month of noodling time i know you're busy but there's still i know there's times where we're sitting with our eggnog and we've got our journal out and we're you know we're we're putting things on paper i know you're doing that so let's do it with purpose and that's what this bite-sized training the first part is bite-sized training on demand so it'll give you a worksheet and the training the second part to the workshop takes place in january we will meet together in January with a live Q&A. It's a, a really fun thing to do. And then you can bring your questions. You'll have had you know time to sort of plan and look and you'll hear other retailers. And it's very energetic and very fun. And we will be doing that in January. So I'm inviting you to be able to take my Design Your Best Year Ever workshop. And we also have a special a special early bird. I'm trying to like, what did we call it? It's an early bird special until December 31st. So if you take action and you want to get started, and this is why I'm offering the early bird special, because I really want you to start. I want you to take action. And, you know, action takers are the ones that that see the results, right? So take action, go in, grab the special that we have. The early bird special is on until the end of the month. And then the, so the workshop's on demand now. It's available now for you. And together we're going to craft a roadmap that's going to help you get where you want to go, right? It's like, it's, it's no more, it's no more winging it. It's designing it. It's designing a year that serves you. It's designing a year that serves your team and your family and your, you know, your lifestyle. It's all about quality of life in these businesses that we are doing. And I am on a mission to enhance your quality of life. And that means we have to have a really healthy business and we have to not be winging it. Like we really have to start making sure that we're putting plans in place specifically. And I love to say a goal without a plan is just a wish. And we want to, we don't just wish for you to have, you know, have a wonderful 2024. We're going to put plans behind it, clarity, put a roadmap in place, get some stuff on paper that's not just questions, right? Like we, you know, we love questions because questions get us to answers, but, you know, sometimes we just need to get some things on paper in the right format. So I hope you'll join me. uh, And together, like, as I said, we'll get a, we'll craft this roadmap for you. It's a fresh, it's, it's a, like a fresh start program. I always say it's like a fresh start to 2024. So if you're looking at noodling around and starting to pick away at your 2024 full year plan. I'm inviting you to to go grab the Design Your Best Year Ever, Retail Year Ever 
um, program. It's available on my website. You can grab it at wendybatten.com. Look for where it says programs and it's all there. Or it's in the show notes if you're listening to the podcast here. So my friend, I have nothing but like good vibes heading your way. And I'm so excited and I'm so excited to be able to offer this program to you. It's the first time we've offered it um, publicly. We've always just had it inside our inner circle. So our retailer's inner circle. So there you are. And if you're a retail inner circle member, you don't need to buy it. You already have it. So (laughs) there you go. And uh, it's inside our program, the retailer's inner circle. All right, let's get on with the show. Running a retail business doesn't have to be so hard. Welcome to the Creative Shop Talk podcast, the go-to podcast for creative shop owners, studio owners, and independent retailers. I'm your host, Wendy Batten, retail business coach and mentor. Each week, I'll share simple proven business strategies, inspiring stories from fellow retailers and advice from industry experts. Together, we're going to work to find the success you want from your retail business with more profits in your till and a little more joy in your life. Well, hey there, friends. Today, we have something a little bit different. A quick episode for you today to get you through the next month. And how about if we make a big old pact to choose the energy in the five of positivity and confidence and happiness and end this year that way. I was going to call this episode end the year strong End the year strong. That's what you hear from everybody. Finish up strong, do everything strong. But what if we flip that and we say end the year happy? Because isn't that the goal? And happy can be a lot of things, right? Happy can be maybe in how your sales are. Happy can be in how everything pans out at the end of this year for you happiness could be and is how you feel so I want to do this podcast or I want to share this podcast and some things I'd love for you to think about in ending this year happy and choosing like confidence and joy and being really you know just it is what it is kind of thing and letting some things go. And so I know that's hard for some of us in a lot of different areas. And I am no exception to that rule. Always looking for or pulling out, you know, I should have done this and we're, you know, should have done that. So I'm going to, I'm going to share some tools. I'm going to share some things and some thoughts for you today that I think might really help you. And I really want to encourage you to think about the energy and the vibe that you're bringing into your shop on a daily basis, the energy and the vibe and the, you know, the mood or whatever we want to call it that we're bringing in, bringing home, bringing home to our family and to maybe your kids or your partners, or even just for yourself, like that self-talk, right? And, you know, your team, you know, if we're going into the shop all stressed out every day and trying to get everything done and all that, calm down, (laughs) calm down. First of all, we're never, ever I shouldn't say never, ever, but like rarely are we 100% satisfied with everything that we're doing. So maybe it's your sales today. Maybe it is your window display. Maybe it's the way you're trying to get your website done. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's the customers. Maybe it's, you know, the delivery guy is cranky. I don't know, whatever. There's always going to be something that's going to like irritate us and and not go 100% perfect, smooth sailing, right? This is the season that they tell us that retail is supposed to be really hard. This is the season, and we hear it everywhere, is that, you know, you got to hustle. It's going to be exhausting and all those things. But it's true, but it's not true. It doesn't have to be that way. It does not have to be that way. So we get to choose our attitude. We get to choose the tude, as they say. And a couple of things, I'm going to share a couple of things that I'd love for you to think about going into this last few weeks of December the last, the end of the year. And again, how, how we're showing up, how we're, you know, bringing what we're bringing to the table, I guess. And one of the things I'd love for you to think about is to catch yourself. And I have to do this every day. So I'm just teaching you what I do and what I've had to do, especially when I was running the retail business in the studio. And there's just always things, right? As I mentioned, there's always things. So I want to encourage you to catch yourself for these and these things. And I promise you it's going to make you feel better. When you catch yourself saying, yeah, but 
Yeah, but, you know, it's a beautiful day out. Yeah, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Or it's a, you know, a customer comes in and says something and yeah, but you know, whatever. And we catch ourselves. It's this negative role we sometimes bring ourselves down. And we're not always doing it in a in a grumpy way, it could be like, again, same, same situation, you know, a customer, maybe a client comes in and, you know, wants something and you don't have it. And you're, yeah, but we had, you know, but nobody want, nobody wanted them. So we stopped bringing them in. It could also be that we can reframe all of those conversations so we can reframe it like, well, yes, those are wonderful. However, we're, you know, doing something else. So catch yourself when you're yeah, butting yourself. Um, I've made a pact actually to change <laughs> when I work with people now, I don't really want to work with yeah butters anymore. <laughs> so that might be too TMI or too much information, but I'm like wanting to help retailers that want to help themselves and that are positive about what's happening and not yeah butting on ourselves. And yes, we all yeah, but I know that, but really having that frame of mind of not making excuses for everything. Another thing we can catch ourselves is deflecting compliments. This is a weird one, but I notice it a lot with retailers. You know, when somebody pays you a compliment, stand in the confidence of that, stand in the power of that, say thank you. We have a tendency sometimes to yeah, but even a compliment. So I want you to stand in your power and say thank you for compliments. The other things are the words that we say to ourselves. I should have done that. I should be doing this, or I have to, I have to go do this, or I have to go unpack more stock, or I have to, you know, flip the window, or I have to move, whatever it is we have to do. Sometimes if we remind ourselves that we get to do these things, we did choose this business, by the way, you know, we get to do them. Isn't it great? I get to go do payroll and pay my staff. I get to, it's just a really great reframe that works really well sometimes when we're talking ourselves into the negative words, right? Another thing that we can catch ourselves that can help our mood and help us end happy and more confident this year is indecision. So being really indecisive, yeah, that's the word. It's just that plays on your mind as well, too. So let's just make a decision and move on. Right or wrong, it's the right decision. (laughs) It's going to happen. I see a lot of people sitting in indecision this time of the year. Indecision on you know, whether to bring in somebody for some more hours tomorrow, like that's an indecision or whether, you know, to, I don't know, all kinds of things. There's so many things that we have, we're sitting on indecision. And I tell you, there's a lot of power in just making a decision and moving on again, right or wrong. The world is not going to end. We're not brain surgeons. It's okay. We're not bomb cutters. Somebody told me once, a client said to me once, it's not like I'm diffusing a bomb you know, cut the red wire, cut the white wire, whatever it is, you know, it's just a decision and right or wrong, nothing's going to blow up. So make those decisions. Catch yourself when you are with your people and your people could be your customers. I know you probably have that fake happiness on sometimes when you're really like (laughs) kind of cranky underneath. They know you can't fake it. We've talked about that on the podcast here before. You can't fake that. But So try to be genuine about that, but catch yourself, acknowledge it, say, hey, Wendy, I hear you. And this isn't how we want to talk to people or how you're speaking to people at home. Maybe it's your partner. Maybe it's your kids. Maybe, you know, it's catch yourself and, and hey, is that how we want to talk to people? Nope. We want to reframe that. Let's just, let's choose happy. We're choosing happy. We're just going to choose a better vibe or a decision. And that also goes for your team. As I mentioned earlier, coming into the shop, rushing in at last minute, throwing things around all over the place, trying to get things done, rushing around, you know, unpacking boxes and being grumpy about it. You get to choose if that's how you want to show up in front of your people. You get to choose. We get to choose. So when you catch yourself doing that, there's some other things as well, too, that I actively have to catch myself with. And I know retailers that I've worked with catch themselves regularly. I've seen this happen so many times. Catch your cat, like catch yourself when you're thinking about your expectations of people. So maybe it's the expectation of your clients. People walk in and then they don't buy and you're like grumpy as you know what? You're like, what? Like, what? Oh, those people. (sighs) you know, how we feel. Maybe it's your team. You know, Susie's coming in late every day. She's just coming in late. She walked by that. She didn't even pick up that stuff. You know, and we kind of get this build up. That's not healthy for us. That's not healthy for our brand or our business. And it's certainly sapping the joy out of our <laughs> season, right? So ask yourself, what can I do to remedy, remedy this? If you've done all of your due diligence and you've done all the work, 
to really, you know, pay attention to your clients and turn clients from browsers to buyers. And you've done all the things and you know what, that's fine. It's, you've done your, you've done your work or maybe you, ha you haven't, maybe you're like, oh, you know what? I didn't even engage those people. So ask yourself, catch yourself, catch yourself and ask yourself the question before you go all down the grumpy path or the negative path or the unhappy path. The same with your team, you know, have I mentioned to Susie that I'm not happy about her coming in? No, we haven't had a team meeting because I haven't had to have one. I didn't want to have that difficult conversation. And well, now's the opportunity. 10 minutes of discomfort in a conversation can do a lot for you and for your team and for the joy and for your confidence. Again, confidence in what you're doing as a leader. We put so much pressure on ourselves, and we put so much pressure on the people around us, especially this time of the year that we need to really acknowledge when we're doing that. We really need to, you know, catch ourselves when you're feeling that crappy feeling or anxiety or anger and ask yourself, you know, those questions, right? The other thing that maybe we have that might help us end the year stronger and something that I see regularly this time of the year is letting go of things like bad buys. Let's talk about bad buys or overbuys it's okay. It happens. This is retail. This happens every year to every retailer at some point in time. It's going to happen. Not every year, but it happens to somebody with something every time. So what if we let go of that misery feeling of we don't want to mark it down or we don't want to clear it out or we don't want to, you know, or we just want to beat ourselves up and sit in this wallow of like, oh, I'm such a dummy. I did this, you know, or I did that. Like the stories we tell ourselves, you know, that committee in your head that's telling you like, don't sell that for too cheap or whatever. Let it go. Would it be, would you be more confident and more happy if you just marked it down, let it go and remove the detachment from a bad buy? It's okay. It's a-okay. It happens to everybody. So on that note, detaching from the outcome, when I say detaching from the outcome, what I mean is, you know, we can, we do all the things, we set up all the things, we've done our due diligence, we've purchased the products, we've done our marketing, we've done our sales, we've done, you know, we've hired the people, <laughs> we're showing up, we've done, you know, all the things that we needed to do. And if we ask ourselves, did I do the very best that I could do today with the capacity and the situation, whatever is happening to in my world right now? And if the answer is yes, let it go, detach from the in outcome. And I know that's hard. And I know you have a lot at stake. And I know you're saying, when do you have a rent to pay and the payroll and all these things? And I understand that. But we can't live in this, we can't live in this space of being like angry and upset and worried all the time. So if that is the case, and we have to do some other things, what can we do? Flip the script, you know, flip, flip your or reframe how you're thinking about it. What can I do when we are sitting in a negative energy or when we're sitting in a, you know, an unhappy energy, we're not, we're not serving people well, we're not thinking well, we're not coming up with great ideas, we're not being creative, we're not, you know, there's just nothing flowing, we're just in this box, right? So I just want you to think about it that way. And I also would love to encourage you to make time for what matters. And what I mean by that is, you know, what does matter? You don't have to be all misery about making, you know, oh, I've got to do 72 posts this week because I read somewhere that that's what I'm supposed to do to get people in the door this week. But yet my kids want to have, you know, want to make cookies and I'm, you know, I'm telling them, no, mommy's got to do social media posts. Well, that's not true. <laughs> Probably going against conventional thoughts or whatever, but plan it in advance. And that's why we've been talking about this since August, planning in advance. And if you didn't get, you know, social media and whatever you don't have done in advance, that's fine. Nothing bad is going to happen if you don't get that social media post done and you go bake cookies with your kids. I promise you it's not like, and I know we have to do certain things and we're running a business and we're running a brand, but we're also running a life. We're also running a life. And if we want to be happy and we want to have energy and we want to vibe and feel good and all of those things we have to make sure that we're priority prioritizing what matters most so go make the cookies with your kids go to that christmas concert not you know go do the thing you want to do sleep in it's okay you don't have to set your alarm for 5 a.m and get up and rule the world if your body and your nervous system is needing sleep 
thinking about the energy that you're bringing to your shop matters. If we are running around burnt out, and if you listen to our burnout episode with Dr. Ashley Margeson, I mean, that what happens is it's just that constant unhappiness, right? It's all, it, it does start with unhappiness. So not trying to make this a gloomy and whatever, I really want you to think about being a confident leader of your business and confidence comes from joy and joy comes from, you know, making just choosing, choosing sometimes like even in the crappy situations, even if, you know, I have a client who just had, you know, had had a shoplifting episode and it was just all, all awful. The whole thing was awful. It was just awful. But, you know, she's like, it happened it we dealt with it we did the thing you know everything is done and I can't let this eat at my brain because it's just going to suck the joy out of me and I'm like good on you right so think about things that you're dwelling on and things about you know things like that one of the things as well that works really well for one of my clients and it I this is a really common thing and I'd love to mention this to you as well too what if we Every night before you go to bed, I have a journal or even just think about it just before you go to bed at night. Think about all the great things that happened. What's going, what went right today? What went really great today? What was a compliment? What was a cool customer? What was a great conversation? What was something funny that happened? What was something that gave you joy and made you smile? And, you know, hopefully you're smiling, you know, lean into that lean into that energy before you go to bed every night. Like it's because there's a million things in your business going well. We tend, our brain tends to go to the few things that are maybe not or that are hard or we're, you know, dwelling on. So I want you to lean in and let, let go of the crappy stuff and kind of lean into the, you know, lean into those good things. And if things are not going right and they're, you know, hard, like let's again, remind ourselves what is going right And maybe we can let go of some other things. Maybe we're going to start our clearance sale early because that whole department we brought in isn't selling and now I'm stressed out about it, whatever. Let's move it out and move on to what is selling and what is working. And, you know, maybe it's a team member. Maybe it's, you know, something else, you know, thinking about what is going right, what's going right and thinking about that and leaning into that. Stand in your power of leadership, stand in your power of happiness. It's up to you how this season goes and how you can end happy and how you can end confident. And I really hope that this podcast, this episode has been helpful to you. I've had conversations like this with quite a few clients and, you know, we've gone into their specific needs and, you know, it's, it's, so it's kind of broad range, but really it does come down to being confident and choosing to look at situations from our leadership point of view, from our role as, you know, the CEO we don't have to be running around, you know, on skate. <laughs> what do I always say? Like on rollerblades, like an octopus juggling plates. We don't have to be doing that. That's a choice we're making. It's a choice you're making. So if it's not working for you, set those plates down, take those roller skates off and let's, let's change the energy around uh, how you're showing up. So I hope that this has been really helpful to you. I am wishing you like the biggest giantess. I hope you can, giantess, is that a word? No, but I hope (laughs) big giant vibes of happy and confident sales this year, like this next month. And I'm hoping that things are just amazing for you. And please reach out if there's anything that I can do to support you in your goals to stay happy and confident in your business and and to choose that confidence. So we'll talk to you soon, my friends. We have another great episode coming for you next week. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Hope it's happy. Hope you're feeling good. And uh, here's two great sales for you this week. Bye for now. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm so glad that you're here to join us this week, and I hope you found value in what we're sharing here. I want to remind you that our website has all of the show notes. You can find it at wendybatten.com slash podcast. Everything that you need to hear about today's podcast is there. Also an opportunity if you need to reach out to me. If I can support you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. So thanks for joining us. Please leave a review, subscribe if you can, and never miss an episode. We hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week.